We breathe all the time, and of course it's what keeps us alive. But we can get more use out of it than, than just keeping the body alive. You focus on the breath. It gives the mind a place to settle down, to develop good qualities. Mindfulness, alertness, discernment. That's the way it is with every part of the body. It has its normal function, but then you can get better use out of it than just its normal function. And you realize okay, you've, what you're living with is borrowed goods. The body comes from food, the food comes from physical elements. When you're first born, you got the elements from your parents. Now you've been maintaining them all along, but there comes a point where you have to give them back. And you have to keep that in mind at all times, so that when the time comes when you do have to give them back, and it's not that they have they all go at once. This goes first, that goes first. But before they go, you want to make sure you've got the best use out of them. And John Lee's image is of getting some fruit and squeezing the juice out of the fruit, and then you just throw away the remains. But you've got the juice. And here the juice is the goodness of the mind that you can develop through your generosity, through your virtue, through your meditation. That's getting something of real nourishment out of the body. You have to look at the body in terms of the use that can be gained from it, and what good qualities the mind can develop using it. But beyond that, you can't be attached to it, because it's going to go on its own. It, doesn't, it hasn't signed any contracts. It hasn't told you it's going to stay X number of days, or that it will give you advance notice. You find this part slips away, that part slips away. So you don't know when they're going to go. So while you have them right here, right now, okay, get the most use out of them. We're sitting here with the breath, the sense of the body as we feel from within. Okay, use that as a basis for concentration. When things change, okay, learn how to use that as a basis for wisdom and discernment. If you have extra time, extra energy, you can use the time, use the energy as a form of generosity. There was an old woman who was a student of Ajahn Mahabhuas. One of her friends went to stay with Ajahn Mahabhu and listened to some Dharma talks. And the friend had cancer. This woman had formerly been a doctor, and so she went along to look after the friend. And then afterwards, they had this huge pile of tapes. So she said, okay, let, I know my eyesight is failing and other things are failing. Let's see how far I can get with this. So she started transcribing the tapes. And sure enough, she was able to finish two enormous books. So even though she was in her 80s, she was still able to use the body for more than just its ordinary function. To all of us, we know that we're going to have to go sometime. We're going to have to give the body back. And they're, they're borrowed goods that we've got here. But you can squeeze all the goodness out of them before you give them back. So make sure that you've got every last drop. 